Hey everyone, Mark here from CNC Sourced. In today's video, I want to provide a complete guide to building your own CNC controller using either the GRBL or G2 core firmware. Stick around till the end for an exclusive tip on optimizing your CNC controller for peak performance. A CNC controller is basically the brain of your CNC machine. It takes in G-code instructions from your computer and controls the stepper motors to precisely move your machine. Up until now, most DIY CNC builders have just used their computer as the makeshift controller. But you can build a dedicated standalone controller pretty easily and cheaply using an Arduino microcontroller board loaded with firmware. The two most popular firmware options for Arduino CNC controllers are GRBL and G2 Core. Both are free, open source code that essentially transforms an Arduino into a capable CNC controller. GRBL works with the cheaper Arduino Uno, while G2 Core needs the more powerful Arduino Do. In a nutshell, GRBL is simpler to set up, has more compatible control software, and supports up to three axis CNC machines. So it's a great option for smaller hobby mills and routers. G2 Core has more advanced features, can control more axes, and generates smoother motion. But it's harder to initially configure and lack some polish. All right, let's dive deeper into the details. First up is trusty old GRBL. Installing GRBL onto an Arduino Uno is a very smooth process. You can flash the firmware in just a few minutes using the Arduino IDE software. I've written a full step-by-step -step tutorial for this on our blog that walks through everything clearly. GRBL also works out of the box with tons of control software like Universal G-Code Sender, CNCJs, Chili Pepper, and more. This makes running your CNC really convenient. And one of my favorite things about GRBL is that once you set your machine configuration, things like steps per millimeter, maximum speeds, and direction polarity, it will remember all those settings forever. You don't have to re-enter anything each time you power up your CNC. For support, GRBL also has a huge community behind it, so troubleshooting help is plentiful if you run into any hiccups. Now for G2 Core. The major advantage here is that it's way more powerful and versatile than GRBL. Being able to leverage the faster Arduino Do board G2 Core can handle up to six stepper motors instead of just three. That means you can build machines with four, five, or six axes if you want. It also supports controlling two motors on a single axis, like having two Z-axis motors on either side of a gantry CNC machine. Pretty advanced stuff. And its motion planning algorithms are top-notch, so you get extremely smooth coordinated movement between multiple motors. Way better than GRBL can manage. It's also got tons of room to grow with future development thanks to the extra memory and processing power. However, G2 Core does still have some rough edges. Flashing it onto the Arduino is kind of a headache compared to the ease of GRBL. Since the Arduino IDE doesn't directly support G2 Core, you have to use a separate utility called BASA to flash the firmware. My blog tutorials walk through this process, and frustratingly, G2 Core forgets all your machine configuration details whenever you disconnect and reconnect to it. Steps per millimeter, direction settings, Maximum speeds, all of that has to be re-entered every time. Super annoying that the developers still haven't fixed this bug. There's also way fewer pieces of software that work out of the box with G2 Core compared to GRBL. You'll probably be stuck using just Chili Pepper as your control program. So in summary, if you just need to control a basic three-axis CNC mill, laser cutter, or 3D printer, go with GRBL. It's simple to set up, proven reliable, and works great with lots of software. But if you're building a more advanced or custom machine, the extra capabilities of G2 Core will be really handy. Be prepared for some occasional frustration though. All right, that covers the basics of rolling your own Arduino CNC controller using GRBL or G2 Core. Let me know in the comments if this overview was helpful or if you have any other questions. And click the card on screen now to see our full in-depth blog post for more details on this topic. I've written step-by-step -step tutorials on flashing both GRBL and G2 Core, calculating steps per mm, wiring diagrams, and more. Everything you need to start your DIY CNC controller build, check it out.